far we have shown you conveyor belt sushi, but today we're going to take you to bullet train sushi. The premise is basically the same. The sushi comes out on a conveyor belt, but at top speed. So basically we're going to have these little screens in front of us. We can select the type of sushi we want, and then it's going to come flying our way, stop right in front of us, and we can feast like kings and queens. So let's go. And we've got Rob again to join us. Exciting times. I'm looking forward to it. Done a lot of conveyor belt sushi, yeah. but this whole bullet train is something different. New Hell, experience for us. Anything with sushi is good. It'll be great, man. So we've just been given our numbers. We are 70, 71, 72. We are now inside the Bullet Train Sushi restaurant. We are soaking wet. We got rained on hard. But I feel like sushi is gonna make this better. All right, so this is the setup. We have a little tablet in front of us with a menu. And then we also have a menu up here. Lots of pictures, great for foreigners. And up top, we have our teacups, our little bowls for soy sauce and also takeaway boxes. So Sam is gonna make some green tea for us. So it's green tea powder. Yeah, get in this matcha. Little, comes out of this little jar. And I believe that we put it here. Yeah. And I'm hoping this is the hot water. Yeah, it feels hot. See the steam coming? And there you go. It's a slow That's pour. That's you make green tea. Yep. At a sushi restaurant. These are my favorites. I'm gonna get tuna and salmon, and salmon, and grilled salmon. So those are gonna be my first two orders. So I have placed my order, now we wait. And here on the side, we have our chopsticks, we have some napkins, we have ginger, wasabi. Ooh, my food is here. First order on the table, tuna and salmon, and then double salmon. This is a regular one, and this one's grilled, so you can see the, the skin is kind of crispy. So yeah, starting off with the classics, let's dig in. One thing I've learned in Japan is that you are not supposed to dip the rice in the soy sauce. You have to dip the fish. But this is always very tricky, because for me, it ends up flopping out. But anyways, here we go. First sushi here. Mm. Is it good? That's good. I always go for salmon. That's yeah. my favorite. It's a, it's, a, it's a winner every time. Mm -hmm. And I know this is wrong, grabbing the wasabi and mixing it in the soy sauce. That's a big no-no. In Japan, you're supposed to put the wasabi on, on the fish piece. itself, but... It's just a little easier to do it that I way. That's how I do it, to make yeah. it like extra, not spicy, but like to give it more of a kick. Yeah. Just like the wasabi in there. It is Sam's turn. Oh my gosh, there's order. so many to choose from. Tuna, tuna, there's uh, two different salmon sections, two different shrimp sections. Ooh, there there's goes yellow tail. Sushi. Yep. Oh my gosh. Options galore here. What you know are you what? in the mood for? You know what, I'm gonna go with a uh, salted sardine one. That looks Ooh. really cool. Tell us about your first order Check here on Bullet guy. Sushi. A beautiful trio. So over here we have the sardines. Um, there's nothing special about that aside from the fact that it's a sardine. Over here we have shrimp, which comes with a generous portion of onion on top, and it's supposed mm -hmm. to be a spicy salsa. Yeah. And then over here we've got salmon with more onions and more mayo. Lots of mayo on yeah. there. That's very interesting. Which one are you starting off with? Uh, I think I'm going to try the sardines first. Okay. Sardine right. time. Time to try the sardine. I don't know if I've ever had sardine sushi before. I, I really can't remember it if I have. This will be really interesting. That is some super salty goodness. It keeps getting saltier with every bite. It's also quite juicy too. I really like this one. I would get it yeah. again. It has a strong aftertaste the more you chew it in your mouth. So it's definitely an interesting pick. 
What else are you going to try there? Okay, next I'm going to try the shrimp. With a little tail. With a little tail. Tail still attached. And check out all of the, the onions on top wow. of that. It's supposed to be a spicy one, so we'll see. Mmm, oh wow. Got the tail out just in time. Mm. Well, it's a sweet and spicy sauce. Ooh. It's really good. I really like shrimp ones, so that's one of my favorites. And moving on. Last but not least, I thought I would say probably my favorite one for the M. I love salmon. So I'm trying to get lots of that mayo. But do you onion. love mayo? That is the question. Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. Should salmon have that much mayo on it? That's debatable. Mm. Okay. I would not order that one again. That thing is drowning in mayo. Mm. It actually overpowers the taste of the salmon, and to me, that's unacceptable. So yeah. The next scrape one. it off. I'm gonna actually scrape it off, literally. Next time I order salmon, without mayo, for sure. Okay, so here on the menu, I've discovered there's a ramen section and also an udon section. So you can order soups with noodles. And I have not had udon since we arrived in Japan. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, soft boiled egg yeah. and mentaiko udon. That nice prices good. too, it's very reasonable. Super reasonable. Yeah, that's not bad. There's, there's the one to the left of it, it's only 150, yeah. if you can believe that. There's one with shrimp, danuki, I don't know what that means. You can get clams. And in the ramen section, you can get special soy sauce or another one in a rich soup. This looks like hot dandan noodles. So yeah, lots of side dishes, which makes it fun. Or you can go for plain miso, but plain I'm doing miso. udon. I'll get plain old miso. Okay, so when you get the soup, you can play sushi roulette. So let's see what happens. See if you win. Oh, the, it's a cr he's crying. I mean, we've never won at any of these things. And I'm starting to get skeptical if, if people actually ever win at them. <laughs> so we've been here for a little bit. What are your first impressions? This place is amazing. I love how efficient it is. It's also it's just got so many different things you can choose from. Yeah. It's a little weak in the roll department, but it makes up for it in the fact that you can get ramen, udon, all sorts of things. Yeah. Very reasonably priced, comes out fast. It's a fun place. Sam's miso is here. Yeah. I already had a sip when you weren't looking. I, I didn't notice that. Look at that. On the screen, my udon, my the udon screen. is here. My udon is here if you want to check it out. I just broke the egg. It was a soft boiled egg, some crispy tempura bits, and this I'm not entirely sure what this paste is. It looks a bit fishy. Interesting. Um, but yeah, let's go for it. Some chives as well. We'll just mix it all together and voila! That's good. Like it? You know, I've always had udon in soup. Yeah. So it's a bit strange for me having it served dry. I do like it. I like the crispy tempura bits in there. I also like the egg. I'm still not entirely sure what this orange paste is, but I don't hate it. Mystery orange paste. Mystery orange paste in Japan. Mm. Oh, it's good. This is gonna be my last plate of sushi because those udon noodles were super filling. So, if you take a closer look, it's basically salmon with some chopped chives, it seems. But this right here, this is the spicy chili oil. So, I'm pretty excited about having some spice in my life. Spice on my food. Add some spice to your life. Mm. Spice up your life. <laughs> mm. What do you think? It looks really good. Yeah? It doesn't need wasabi because you get that kick from the oil. Wow, that's gotta pretty try cool. That. All right, guys, so that was a wonderful lunch. We've got stacks of plates and bowls and yeah. more plates and cups. So yeah, we ate really well. I am stuffed. It was so much fun coming to Bullet Train Sushi. Yeah. I thought only conveyor belt sushi was a thing, but seeing it like fly past you to yeah. other people, like that was really cool. Yeah, and there's a lot of people who are here enjoying lunch now. So yes. it, it, this place is very popular. So this place is located in Shibuya and we'll put the details in the description box if you also want to come visit. It's been a really fun experience here in Tokyo, so I would highly recommend it.